Hey friends, you've got Renee here at Mold Mending. Hi. So I was just thinking, I took a walk and by these woods that I walked by, there were these little like acorns. I thought, how cute is this? It would be so fun to collect them. However, <laughs> remembering that I have mold illness, I can't just pick up anything off the ground and collect it and have fun with it. It made me actually start thinking about Seattle and when we moved there, the fun of finding things at the ocean. So I thought I'd share with you two things we found at the ocean and then I'll come back to this part of the story. So uh, moving to Seattle, the ability to be only 10 to 15 minutes away from Puget Sound, which is the ocean, um, but it's kind of like an inlet towards the ocean. Um, it's all ocean water and the different beaches we would go to, I would get so excited because each beach had different collections of things that you could just pick up and bring home. One of the things that I really enjoyed bringing were colored rocks. Certain days it would be red rocks, other days it would be a green rock, um, the different shades of green, other days it would be even the blues and the grays. And we had a neighbor in our first apartment out there who I found out also loved rocks and collecting them. So every time I went to the beach, <laughs> I would bring them and knock on their glass door, their back door, uh, when uh, I could hear him playing. They had like a little two or three year old and they spoke a different language than I did. And the way that we communicated with each other were actually through rocks. I would just share with him my little collection and let him pick out anything he wanted from that. And he would just always have the smile. It was fun. So no big deal there. And then at the very beginning, I noticed all these different shells. And some of them were broken. Some of them were perfect. And I learned later that I can't remember what they were called but I thought they were the ones that made pearls. So I started collecting these shells, okay? And later realized that they're the kind that are on a hinge, like a clam shell. And I thought, these are so cool. One time, I just decided to bring a whole bag home. And I thought they were that much cooler that I even put them in a vase. Because I just thought the, the rainbow color on the inside, the pearlesque kind of, um, effect that's on the inside of those shells. I just thought they were beautiful and I just wanted to display it. So I put them in this vase, clear vase in my kitchen. After a couple days, I started smelling something really weird and just started sniffing around the whole house, um, just smelling to figure out what in the world is this smell and came up to the vase discovering that some of those shells I had collected still had meat on them. <laughs> yeah, so these were the ones that were closed and I didn't realize there was actually life inside of them or meat inside of them or any kind of um, a substance, you know? And <laughs> the ones that were closed were the ones that were reeking the worst because they had holes around the edges and the meat inside of those shells, which I didn't know at the time until somebody told me after I told them the whole story. And those that were closed still had the meat in it that most people would either eat raw or I think they, they would cook it for sure. But I think sometimes people would eat it raw. Ugh, I can't stand that. Anyway, so why am I sharing all this? Well, certain things that we collect are not always good for us such as those shells <laughs> you know i'm thinking they're beautiful and not thinking that the ones that are closed are would be a problem but i also wasn't educated at the time i was just all excited about shells but for those of us that have mold illness and who also have autoimmune diseases and um, chronic illnesses we have to be careful of the things that we collect and going back to the first thing I shared with you, like those little those little acorns, those little chestnuts. If I brought those into the house and that was a thought to bring these home, I could collect a bunch of them, put them in my car, and then later that day when I was done with my, where I was at, bring them home. And then I thought, do I want that to be in my car? A wet substance, you know, a nut that has been chewed through from a bug, um, things that have 
been sitting on the ground with snow, having had mold spores likely on them. Is that something I want to put in my car? And the immediate answer was, nope. And then the thought was, even if I bag them up and brought them home, why would I want to bring that into my house? You know, to do a craft with them and such was the thought. And then I thought, but you don't want to cross contaminate the house, bringing in dirt, bringing in any kind of mold um, and having to do the work such as baking them and such before even being able to do a craft. So I'm like, nope. But the thought was with those of us with mold illness, we have to watch that as well. What are we collecting? What are we bringing in? What are we letting sit around in our home that's collecting dust, um, which the dust does feed on, mold feeds on that dust that's being collected. And what are the things that we are collecting that are harboring mold in them already before we bring them in the house and then causing a cross-contamination. So my question to you is, what are you collecting that's causing you more harm in your home and your health versus good? Just like those shells I brought into my home. Was that bringing good to my health and to my home? Absolutely not. Um, I've learned, learned the lesson of certain things I collect, but that also tells me about other things in my home too. So what am I collecting that's causing me harm? And is that bringing health to my home and, and bringing healing to my health as well? Sometimes those of us with mold illness do need to think about those things, especially when it comes to collecting things or bringing things in from the outside. So remember, we can be well, even while ill. Take care.